flu season is in full swing, unfortunately, as we start to spend more time indoors. Even though it comes around every year, there are still common flu mists that keep people from getting a vaccine. Here to debunk some of them is Dr. Melanie Mazoon with Kelsey Siebel Clinic. Good morning to you. I know it's a busy time this week, so thank you for taking time to talk to us. My pleasure. All right, so let's just go through these myths, Dr. Mazoon. The first one is you can actually get the flu from the flu vaccine. We hear people say things like this all the time. What would you say? Right, and it's absolutely false because the flu vaccines are inactivated. Most of them are inactivated virus, meaning the virus has been killed before the vaccine is even processed and produced. So um, that is not possible. They cannot cause the flu. Um, the live virus vaccine uh, that goes in your nose has been uh, modified so that the virus can't live in warm temperatures. So your nose is cooler than your lungs and your throat. So it can only replicate or reproduce itself in your nostrils. It can't cause influenza. So it can cause a little bit of a runny nose, but none of the current mm -hmm. uh, flu vaccines can cause influenza. But after you get a vaccine, sometimes people might not feel their best, right? So is that perhaps where that myth got started in the first place? Yeah, I'm sure that's part of it. Plus, you know, you get your flu vaccine in the fall when viruses start to circulate. So you make catch mm -hmm. something else and, and assume that it's the flu because you caught it in uh, timing and close timing to your flu shot. So uh, that's a very common myth. And mm -hmm. besides the vaccines do cause some sore arm, a little low grade fever. You might not feel that well after your flu vaccine, certainly not sick enough to avoid going to work or to really be laid out in bed like flu can mm -hmm. cause. So um, well worth getting. Okay, we heard that, no excuse to call in. All right, let's talk about <laughs> myth number two. The flu vaccine isn't safe for older adults. And we know that the flu can hit older adults very, very hard and, and it can even be fatal. Right, so not only is the vaccine safe for older adults, we actually use stronger vaccines in older adults to make sure that they get a good immune response. So the high dose flu vaccine is about four times as much flu vaccine in a shot uh, for older adults because they do tend to not respond quite as well to the regular dose. So not only is it safe, but uh, we increase the intensity of the vaccine just to make sure that they respond well. And you've basically already covered this, but I'm going to make sure we throw it out there just because it is a very common myth, and that is that the flu vaccine causes strong side effects. And you've, you've basically walked us through those, but would you disagree with the word strong here? I think we're all used to stronger side effects with the COVID vaccine and also the shingles vaccine now. So um, flu vaccine is actually a pretty mild vaccine in comparison to some of the newer vaccines. Um, and that's again, because we want some reaction in order to get immunity. But the flu vaccine tends to cause a sore arm, maybe a little low grade fever, maybe a day of you know not feeling quite as energetic, but it really is not a serious um, side effect causing right. vaccine. Now, for myth number four, I'm going to say um, this is a great excuse, especially if you don't like needles, but it's a popular myth, unfortunately, that, hey, I got a flu vaccine last year. I'm all good this year. I don't need another one. I'm covered. And the other part of that myth is, hey, if I wear a mask, I won't get flu vaccine because the flu went down with COVID. Actually, there's an outbreak uh, on the University of Michigan campus with over 500 students ill from flu already this year. Mm. So you really do need to get your flu vaccine. Flu is, uh, we're expecting it to come roaring back, uh, particularly if people are not wearing their masks and with all this holiday travel. And the strain that's going around is H3N2, which is a really strong strain and can cause very serious illness. All right, and then our last myth also involving COVID-19, and that is I got the COVID-19 vaccine and so I can't get the flu vaccine. No, it's just like any other vaccine. It's only targeted against that one virus, the COVID uh, virus. And so you need to get your flu vaccine to be protected against influenza. All They're right. different. And, and also important to note that you can get the flu vaccine and COVID vaccine at the same time. Dr. Melanie Mazoon with Kelsey Siebel Clinic. Again, thank you for your time during a busy holiday week. I hope this helps people. I know a lot of people are tired of talking vaccines, but if we can help protect, keep people, can keep them safe. I know that's your goal. Very important. All right, happy Thanksgiving to you. We're thankful for your time. 819.